Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us see the memory size calculation whenever the range is given. That means whenever starting address and the end address is given. So before considering one example, so let us take one scenario where uh, we will be finding the numbers in between a range. General decimal numbers we will consider. Let us say I have started with uh, number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means I, ha I have a range 3 to 12. That means I have given a, num a numbering to some locations. Okay, some locations I have given a numbering with the help of decimal number system, our general language. So in this scenario, the starting number is 3 and the end number is 12. So then uh, if, we are, if I ask how many numbers are available or how many uh, locations are available total from 3 to 12, the general procedure what we follow is simply we will subtract the starting number from the end number so that you will get a value 9 then you will be adding a 1 because we are whenever you are subtracting we are excluding one number okay we are excluding one number that is the reason after the result you need to add that one so that you will get entire range total numbers i could say total numbers so total how many numbers are available here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so that is the answer so the same procedure you can apply for any numbering system see generally whenever you are using hexadecimal number system for memory representation for memory representation and if you are asked to find out the total memory size you can apply the same procedure like if a memory is given like starting address as 1fh randomly i am considering one example and let us say the end address as 2fh so then what is the size of this memory so that means you need to find out the total number of locations starting from 1fh to ending at 2fh so what is the procedure consider the last number 2f minus 1f and add plus 1 in hexadecimal or any decimal or any binary number system you consider any number system 1 is represented as 1 itself so you need to first subtract 2f minus 1f 2f minus 1f f f f minus f 0 2 minus 1 1 1 0 plus 1 but make sure that this 10 is not normal 10 this 10 is nothing but base 16 so that means uh, this 1 0 is nothing but your 16 in hexadecimal language because after f f is stands for here i am writing a is for 10 b is for 11 c is for 12 d is for 13 e is for 14 and f is for 15 so this is the last number so then what is the next number 1 0 is for 16 so 16 or you can say the weightage as per weightage also you can mention this 1 into 16 plus 0 16 plus 1 so total 17 locations are available so what is the memory size of this particular uh, uh, represented represented memory 17 locations or 17 bytes because you know at each location you will have one byte of data okay so in the same way if any range is given you can calculate this particular memory size let us consider a big range like 1000h2 uh, they mentioned 1ffh then what is the total size so simply 1 f f minus 1 triple 0 f f f 0 for this you need to add 1 so first before adding 1 this is hexadecimal representation you need to convert it into decimal then you need to add 1 whenever you have this all f's the conversion is very straightforward what is the method let us say one example i will give if you have f the answer is 15 how we got this 15 one way is f is nothing but four ones four ones that means 2 power 4 minus 1 16 minus 1 the same way if you have two f's what is the answer two f's is nothing but eight ones here you will have eight ones okay eight ones in the sense 2 power 8 minus 1 
okay 2 power 8 is nothing but 256 minus 1 so the answer is 255 okay so that means here you need to consider 2 power 12 1f is 4 double f if you are using double f means 8 one more f is nothing but uh, 4 uh, ones are added so total 12 ones so 2 power 12 minus 1 then this is nothing but your decimal plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled the answer is 2 power 12 so that means you can mention you can mention this memory size as 2 power 12 locations or 2 power 12 bytes 2 power 12 is represented as 2 power 2 into 2 power 10 bytes can be represented as capital B bytes can be represented as capital B 2 power 2 is 4 2 power 10 is nothing but kilo in the digital world 2 powers can be represented as kilo mega 2 power 10 is nothing but kilo 2 power 20 is nothing but mega so kilo byte so this particular address range memory whatever the particular memory that size is 4 kilobytes so in the same way you can find out any uh, like a memory size whenever the starting address and the end address is given thank you thank you so much if